Hello, you guys. I'm going to give it a few minutes. Um, just a few seconds. I know it's late. Um, but I felt led to go on tonight. I am off this week, Thanksgiving week. And um, just excited about what God is doing in this season for a lot of people I see. I watch and I learn and I observe people. And so in this season, uh, hey, Shara Blakemore. I'm going to reclaim my birthday to win. It's almost our birthday, Marie. Um, I'm here to talk about the Yes, I Am Enough Nation uh, membership. And a lot of people have been asking, you know, uh, giving me uh, feedback on it, saying it's awesome. Um, but I want to come on and tell you what it's about. I talked to a lot of people. Tiffany Grant, I think we had a appointment today. I'm sorry. Um, talk to a lot of people, uh, honored to the, the Lord is leading me to, uh, for people to reach out and, um, ask for my assistance, my con consultation and advice. And one thing, if you know, if you really, really know me, <laughs> Marie said, why is friends picture on the wall? Girl, you know, that's my people. I'm going to carve my, I'm going to be right in the middle. Girl, you know, that's for real. I ain't playing friends and my friends. I'm sorry. It's my birthday twin. <laughs> uh, but let me go back to Yes, I Am Enough Nation. Uh, God has allowed me to talk to a lot of people, um, just consult and coach and inspire and empower them. Uh, and one thing that I am honored and humbled when uh, we finish our conversation, people reach back out and say, you know what, Tanya, you, re you really motivated me. I'm ignited. I'm fired up. Um, and that's what I, I do. Uh, I love... Uh, inspiring people to be their best self and knowing that they I they got a cheerleader in me. Um, I love connecting people with people. I love doing what I can to allow people to walk in their purpose. And so what this Yes, I Am Enough Nation is about, let me first of all give props to my consultant, the digital mastery expert herself, um, uh, Vanessa Collins. I had a consultation with her a few months ago and she gave me a list of things because you, if you are at the Yes, I Am Enough book release empowerment conference, uh, a lot of people have birthed things. God spoken to them, delivered them. Um, and I was delivered. I, I mean, so much came, but that was just obedience to God. Um, and I knew what God wanted me to do with this book. And so the feedback I've gotten and just from some wise women and men of God is just to continue this as a movement. Uh, I didn't see it as that, you guys, but I have to listen to the voice of God that God uses through people. And so uh, just the movement of Yes, I Am Enough is all about knowing and walking in your God-given enoughness. It is really based on... Um, the scripture where God said, let us make man in our own image. And God said, you know, if we created in the image of God, we already have enough. We were born enough, built enough, and we need to walk in our enoughness in confidence, uh, not arrogance, but a holy confidence, knowing that whatever God tells us to do, he's already made the provision uh, for us to do it. And he's always, and not just money, but in resources, human uh, capital, there are people in our circle of influence that are not only able to help, but willing to help. We just have to ask and reach out. And the thing that that holds us back and from asking and saying, oh, I need your help. Oh, I love what you're doing is fear, pride, uh, insecurity. Everything I talk about in my book, Yes, I Am Enough, um, always trying to have everything perfect. There's no such thing as perfection. It's a paradox. And so what this no Yes, I Am Enough Nation, it is birthed in. It is just a membership of bringing people together. So I can talk to all of y'all at once, uh, first of all. And, and what it's going to be is I'm going to follow the yes philosophy. Um, we have a mission. We have a vision. We have core values. Uh, but the yes philosophy is what this whole membership is based on. It will be uh, written monthly uh, videos, 
audio lessons. Uh, you will have homework assignments and the homework is just not for you to do, but to implement in your life. One thing about me, if you know me, I don't do anything just to pass the time and be busy. Everything that I tell people to do is strategic and intentional for you to uh, fulfill your purpose and walk in it. And so this is all what the Yes, I Am Enough um, Nation, the monthly membership is about. And so the Yes philosophy, what is it? It is something that I, I've always lived um, and, can and currently living. And the Y stands for yoking vision-minded, like-minded people together. I connect people because one thing I know, if I can't help you, I guarantee you I know somebody who can. And I'm not ashamed anymore. I'm not uh, what I've called, uh, I'm going to have this in my next book, Yes, I Am Enough, the next chapter about a lot of people being social hoarders. Uh, I'm going to keep my little circle together. I don't want to introduce you to this person because this person is my friend and I. this is my contact. That my, 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 that's the baby uh, mentality. All right. And so it's time for us to mature. And one thing about maturity is a letting go of control and of fear and insecurity that if we introduce people to people we love, that those people that we love are going to leave, leave us. That's not true. When you know that you're enough, you know that the people around you are enough and that you have everything that you need to nurture and keep that relationship. And if the relationship is not kept, just know that you are strong enough to deal with God's separation. All right. So why the yes philosophy? I'm yoking vision minded, like minded people together. We're coming as a group. We're going to have a, a private Facebook page. I'm going to give you lessons, audio, video, written lessons, um, monthly presentations where we'll be on a Zoom um, and just connecting people together. E, the yes philosophy is E. My goal is to expand uh, the fixed, your fixed mindset that is fear driven and expand that to embrace the growth mindset. The growth mindset is, uh, is all basically knowing that you're enough and uh, being proactive, planning your life, uh, not only uh, not harping on what you cannot do, but really the growth mindset is taking what I do well and growing it to the next level. All right. Leveling up. Uh, and so that's what we're going to do. Assignments, uh, written lessons, audios will be all about expanding your fixed mindset and the fear driven mindset to a growth mindset. And then the S is is for me to help you shape your life, to embrace the opportunities and to reach out to the resources that are already available in your circle. We are, it used to, I used to say we are six degrees of separation from everybody and everything that we need. With the internet, social media, we are probably two to three uh, degrees of separation from people. And so what I want you, what I'm going to do is to shape you into thinking, that goes back to the growth mindset, into thinking um, about who's around you, who, who is on your job, who can help you. Because a lot of us go to work. And a lot of our colleagues not only work, but they have community connections. They work in the church. They have other businesses. They know people. Uh, your church, that is an untapped market because a lot of us just go to church, you know, get the word of God, leave on a happy note and not knowing that God said uh, to forsake not the fellowship, not to just go and get the word, but to fellowship, be in the same ship with people. There's a lot of people in your church that you go to that don't that you don't even know have gifts and talents beyond this measure. They know people who can help you, uh, but because we don't talk about ourselves because it's a false humility, and I'm not even going to preach, but we have to learn to connect with people in our church outside of just talking about God and the Bible. We got to talk about who we are. And again, that goes back to knowing that we are enough. We are enough to show and be transparent um, amongst people that God has put around us. And we, when we know that without a shadow of a doubt, we will walk in confidence. We will walk in uh, wanting to connect with people and collaborate and uh, really want people to be 
everything God wants them to be. It's time out for that crab in a bucket mentality. Um, I don't want you to get ahead before I get ahead. We can all push ahead together. All right. And so that is what the yes philosophy is in the yes, I am enough nation monthly membership. I tell you, um, it's going to be great. I'm excited about it. I want you, if you're interested, just look on. I'm going to post it again. Look at the vision, the mission, the core values. I am very strategic and I don't do anything. Oh, on the whim. No. Y'all know me, especially my family and friends. They, they Y'all know my daddy, Joe White. Y'all know what he used to say. Don't do anything. What? Okay. And my mama was very, very particular. She said everything with excellence. So I got it doubly. So we do have a vision. Um, our vision is with the Yes, I Am Enough Nation, the monthly membership. I guarantee you in the first 30 days, you're going to see your life shift like never before because you're going to be connected with like-minded people. You're going to expand your mind from being fear, fear-focused and a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. And you are going to really know who you are connected to in your circle of influence. All right. So our vision is for the Yes, I Am Enough Nation to help all people around the globe, men and women, to change their what? No, I'm not enough attitudes into Yes, I Am Enough a lifestyle of intentional action. Intentionality is key because we can say all day long. Yes, I am enough. I love everybody who's bought the shirts, the Yes, I am enough shirt, built God enough, but we're going to move this to the next level. We're going to level up and we're going to live this thing and not only say it and look cute in it, but we're going to live it and manifest so many uh, results, so many dreams, so many goals, because we're going to believe it and walk in it. Our mission uh, is to empower people with the Yes philosophy that I just went over to build your self-confidence. Uh, and so that you can eliminate negative thoughts, fear, and excuses. No more. No, no, no more negative thoughts because you are enough. No more fear. God didn't, didn't give us that spirit of fear, but of peace, love, and a sound mind. And no more excuses. Y'all know, y'all know I was online to be an alpha angel. Uh, and we always said this. Excuses are what? Tools of incompetence, which will build monuments of nothing. And those who do what? Specialize in them will never, ever succeed in anything. So we're going to eliminate the excuses. That's our mission. And we're going to do that with the yes philosophy, yoking you up with like-minded people. Iron sharpens iron. We're going to expand your fixed mindset to a growth mindset. And then we're going to shape your life to embrace all the opportunities that are right there. They're right there. We just got to tap into them. And our core values, we, uh, this is going to be a safe place to share, to connect and learn in a trusting and nurturing environment uh, so that everyone can manifest tangible, tangible results. And in order to do that, we're going to encourage every member in the Yes, I Am Enough Nation to be confidential. So every anything that we share is of confidence. We're going to operate under the Vegas rules. What happened? You know it, Marie. <laughs> That's Joe White. What happens in uh, Vegas stays in Vegas. That's our confidentiality room. Be engaging. We don't want you just to be uh, a silent member. We want everybody. You have a voice and we want you to share your voice. We want you to be committed not only to the group, but to your goals, to you actually doing the assignments and seeing change in your life. And then be encouraging not only to others, but encourage yourself. Encourage yourself, honey. You have to look up some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tanya is really. I really do think I'm. Topra and Tiana, Foxy Brown. Uh, I have many personalities, so. But I encourage myself. Um, I press through. And encourage myself to and when God has really uh, allowed uh, blessings in my life, and He's allowed me to uh, achieve certain things. I encourage myself, and then the last. The last core value, and this is what ev everything is based on, we want you to be confident in your own enoughness. you got to know that you're enough. I can tell you all day long, but you got to internalize that. And it's got to be when you're connected with like-minded people, you expand your uh, mindset to a growth mindset, and then you know the resources around you. And trust me, being a part of the Yes, I Am Enough Nation I am a prayer and I always pray for not only my clients, but God, those who God connect me with. So just know that if you're a part of this, yes, I am enough nation monthly membership. Trust me. 
I will be praying for each member as uh, I know that members will be praying for me. Hey, Adrena. Um, and so it's going to be phenomenal. I guarantee you. Um, start out month to month. If you don't want to commit for the whole year, but I promise you in the first quarter, you're, the light, you're, if you are committed, engaged, um, and walk in a boldness of knowing who you are and that you have something to accomplish and that you can accomplish it, 90 days, the whole, your whole life will change. The 30 days you will see results, but 90, you're going to say, who is this person? Because things, God is just in a supernatural shifting. I'm not going to preach y'all, but I'm telling you, supernatural shifting for those who, who are really ready, committed, and ready to go to the next level. It takes people, you connecting with people who God sends your way. There's no such thing as doing anything by yourself. God created Adam and then he created woman because he said, what? It's not good for man to be alone. I got to create you a help me. And most of us are only think of that in terms of marriage, but God cre has created help meets in our terms of business, in our terms of in to help us achieve our goals, to help us to get through certain things. Just look, I am your help me to, to know. And so you can walk in and say with confidence and boldness that yes, I am enough. So think about it. I'm going to be praying, Lord, send those people. Don't hesitate. Uh, look at it as an investment. It is $45 a month, or you could pay a one-time annual fee. Um, and trust me, anything that we invest in monetarily, we really do take a, a deeper uh, commitment and dedication to. So just look at, I'm investing in myself. Uh, because 2019, I, I don't want it to be a repeat of 2018. I don't want it to say I should have done this. I, I don't want to say, look, listen, uh, I know the Lord told me to do this, but how? This is how you connect with like-minded people through the Yes, I Am Enough Nation. So I'm not going to hold you because I know some of us have to go to work. I am off this week. Hallelujah. Thanksgiving. Uh, but thank you, Miss Sharonda. I'm I'm going to see you Wednesday. Regina Cole, as always. Um, Adrena. Lewis Rutherford then preached me in uh to another level at uh Jefferson Mall. Marie Quay Clay, listen, I'm gonna call you because it's time to turn up for the whole month. Me and Marie Clay have the same birthday. It's December 31st. It is a global holiday. So uh, Shara Blakemore, thank you for tuning in. Everybody else who uh, will catch this on the replay, share it. Think about it. If you if you have prayed to God, oh, my cousin Shell, thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you say, listen, God, I want to do everything that you call me to do, but I need uh, some help. I need people to help me and guide me. Yes, I am enough nation is the answer to your prayer. So I'm going to post it again. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to inbox me, but join us. Uh, it's going to be phenomenal. Uh, so many things I know are going to be birthed out of this membership. Um, and I'm excited about it. All right, you guys, you have a blessed night and I will see you on Tuesdays with Tanya as we will finish out our books that I love. And we're going to talk about um, Nicole uh, Cokie Griffin's book, Triumph, The New Me. All right. I love you guys. Bye-bye.